excellent Italian restaurant. If you're ever in Armenia, you probably want to hit it up. Reasonable price, really, really good. I'm standing in uh, Supermercado Loreles, my favorite place to shop. Just as you can find a new adventure and a new love after your first marriage, so can you find a new life in a foreign land. For me, for now, it's South America. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. Hello on this fine Thursday in Armenia, Colombia. I want to give you guys a quick update. What's going on? Uh, something has happened. Uh, nothing major, but when Jeffrey was here, as I mentioned in another video, there were a couple gringos that came to visit and their viewers. As a matter of fact, uh, all of us got together for a lunch one day. Had a nice, nice conversation. Good people. But Jeffrey and I um, went for a walk to Barrio in the south that I've been talking about, uh, San Jose. And uh, this was a while ago, it's a couple weeks ago. And I got about two hours worth of video clips as we looked for the area that I was told about. And then when we finally found the area, and then we walked all the way into uh, El Centro and the very nice part near uh, Bolivar Park. Well, you haven't seen that video because the clips were lost. The only thing I could salvage was some of the walk at the tail end as we walked towards Bolivar Park. And then after that, there's clips that are missing. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I suspect that my video cards, the SD cards, you're all familiar with the the ones I use are micro but they fit into the SD for video you have to use the highest level that there is you can't just use any one and I don't know if you're aware of this or not but they actually wear out uh, they're a little pricey at least in my world they're they're expensive and I get as much as I can out of them I've never lost information in this case they just vanished they just flat out vanished like I never push the record button except I always check as I go along so even if I had forgotten at the first part at some point in those couple hours I mean I checked a whole bunch of times it's my habit because that used to be a problem for me so uh, you won't be seeing that video of uh, San Jose Barrio uh, for probably another week or so it takes time to actually get the right clips and then as you all know because I've told you a million times editing is not my forte and it takes me forever uh, we'll be coming and there's another barrio that I have planned but it's just not to happen right now so in this video I'm going to show you the part of the clip that actually walks through El Centro I know a lot of you are interested in in that so I think I'll get a pretty good taste of it. Uh, I do want to answer uh, one or two questions. I've gotten a bunch and I'll put together a video, but one of the questions that I want to bring up is why is it that when you're out walking and doing videos, a lot of times there's hardly any people? Well, I try to plan it that way, to be honest with you. Now, in particular, he was talking about one of the residential areas that I walked through. Well, it's a residential area and most people work. And so, you know, they might walk to the bus or the taxi or walk to work, but then they're gone, you know? It's, so it's not a constant thing. You really see foot traffic anywhere. Uh, you're gonna see foot traffic where there's commercial operations, where people are coming and going all the time. They're taking off from work, they have a day off, and, and you're gonna see them in those areas. So there's certain areas that are pretty well mobbed. Now there's another exception, is that if it's a holiday in particular, or a lot of times on Sundays, you're gonna see greatly diminished. On Sundays, that's mostly everybody's day off here, 
And so they're going to be going to somewhere. Now, the mall is a popular place, so the malls will be crowded. But a lot of the places like Bolivar, where you see me all the time going down to the ATM, you're not going to see a lot of foot traffic. And I commented on that recently in a video, which is probably what, what prompted the question. I also want to mention that these videos are actually sponsored by the Patreon subscribers and GoFundMe donors. It got to a point where I could just no longer afford to do them and the money that comes from YouTube, it's just almost non-existent anymore. As I've mentioned to you before, it takes me five months of YouTube videos before I receive a hundred, hundred and ten dollar check from them. So twenty dollars a month is, you know, it's really not that but it costs me considerably more than that to do these and so I want to publicly mention and acknowledge that what keeps this going are the Patreon subscribers, GoFundMe donors and I appreciate to know and that they do that because I enjoy doing these and I really don't want to stop doing it. And recently, since I've begun doing these Skype calls for information, kind of your own personal uh, consultant uh, for Colombia or, or Ecuador, because when I'm here, for example, or when I was in Ecuador, I didn't just, just live there. I'm constantly researching. I'm constantly talking to people, interviewing. I'm actively finding out information. So six months for me is like five years for most people. But Armenia, and Colombia in particular, is it just so happens that, you know, I've had a familiarity with Colombia for almost 20 years now. So, um, you know, if you're thinking about coming here, particularly if you're thinking about living here, it's time well spent. And the feedback I'm getting on these Skype calls after the call, and I just got another um, email a day ago from a call that we did, I think almost two months ago, and the feedback has been tremendous. It, it, I am a wealth of good information. And when you're planning to make it the next step in your life, it's good to have that. Now, yeah, you can come here and figure it out. And it takes a good six months to a year before you get to a place where you can function pretty well. Uh, as far as finding your best deals, best way to do things, best way to rent an apartment, most people find out after renting one or two apartments, they learn the hard way on what to do the time after that. So these Skype calls, the point of it is, it's actually to save you a lot of trouble and money. I love to be able to help people with these things. And I have that information for you. Why go through, you know, struggling to figure it out? So that also supports the channel. If you're of a mind, you know, make some plans to do that. One of the questions that has been asked of me a whole bunch of times and I'm, frankly, I'm a little surprised, but I saw this girl at a place, remember where I did the tacos? The, the cart was outside of the restaurant, and the restaurant was Lucas. And I love those tacos, my favorite thing. Well, that restaurant sold, and so the friend who had the taco cart could no longer operate there either. And so now the place is called Juan, Juan per Perdilla. Um, so it's Juan, it's no longer Lucas. But a couple times I filmed there, there was this waitress that was stunning. She looked like a model. But it, she cracked me up because she would ham for the camera and pretend that she didn't notice it. it, it you know, she would take her hair that's tied up like you do when you're serving food, and she'd pu you know, pull it down and wave it around and flip it in front of the camera. And it just, it, it just cracked me up. But a lot of people commented on her. She really uh, hit a memory cord. You know, even people that have come to visit me ask me about that restaurant. Does she still work there? And no, she doesn't still work there. But I did a, kind of a review of a hamburger that was delivered uh, to my apartment from the new place. And, um, and so I mentioned her. So you're going to see that. And then you're going to see some video of El Centro. 
hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fine. And I'll see you in the next video. Let's take a look at this. So, Lucas, where that uh, real pretty girl used to work, that everybody commented on so much, um, they were sold. It's now called Wands. And he just delivered me a hamburger. And this thing is massive. It's their regular hamburger. You can get one that's a double. You get this one or a double. And it's got uh, big chunks of real bacon. And I looked at it uh, after I ordered it, and their regular hamburger is a half pound burger. So, it comes with fries, and the fries are not as good as they were with the previous owner. The hamburger is way bigger and less money. So, what did this cost me? Well, it's 15000 delivered, which amounts to 5 bucks.